Hi, Peter here and today we're going to be talking about procrastination and how to change that to motivation. We've all been there, right? It's like we've got a chore to do, we know it has to be done, it may not have to be done exactly tomorrow but it's got to be done at some time in the future but thinking of us makes us kind of feel bad inside and we start thinking of all those other things that are so important that need to do. I mean, we've probably got dirt under our fingernails which is ten times more likely to need to be picked out than doing whatever it is that you're procrastinating on. Well, there are ways in which we can really change that around and get us moving forward through those items that we need to get done. And today, I'm going to give you three different ways of doing that, okay? So, the first one that I'm going to show you is how to connect to your final goal. Because what we do is we tend to... Uh, our mind cultivates the negative aspects, the boring aspects of trying to get that thing done. And although we know it will feel good to finish those particular aspects, sometimes we don't connect into them. So, number one is connect to final outcome. Right, this is number one. So, first of all, straight away, you've really got to build up a picture, an image of yourself completing the very, very task that you're meant to do. So, whether it's a chore uh, in the backyard or completing all of those accounts or whatever it is that's uh, really boring for you, rather than focus on, on the activity, we focus on having completed it and what it will feel like to have completed this chore and the freedom that it will give you. And spend some time really getting a picture, a sound, a feeling of what it will feel like to connect into that and get that positive feelings. See, let's talk a little bit about psychology. What happens is our, our internal representation, our picture, changes the way we feel, we internally feel about ourselves. And that feeling leaves us feeling lethargic and not wanting to do anything or looking around. If there's something where the internal representation creates a feeling of excitement, then we are more likely to have more energy to jump in and do that. So we know that the chore that we have to do will eventually result in something positive, i.e. at least the freedom of getting that thing off the plate which has to be done. And if you spend more time thinking about that freedom, then you'll be more likely to elicit those positive feelings to start getting those things done. And you'll notice all these principles, to some extent, work on, on getting us into that positive state to get that chore done. Okay? So that's number one, is connect to the final outcome. Now, the second way, uh, if this works, that's great. That's all you need to do. But I'm going to give you some choices. The second way is to connect to something you know definitely you feel positive on working on. So, to connect to a passion. So, there are some things in life that we don't like and we procrastinate on, and there are things in life that we just can't help but love to do. Like, imagine if your uh, famous person that you idolise was coming into your town and was uh, open for chatting with, uh, you know, for half an hour. We would just feel so great. If it was a rock star or something you idolised, you'd really feel passionate. No matter whether it was 2 o'clock in the morning and you'd been up for 24 hours, you'd suddenly find that motivation to go and do the thing you like. Uh, you know, I, I'm a surfer. So if I see a perfect, beautiful wave, then no matter how tired I am, I suddenly have a burst of energy to want to go and uh, have a surf, even though it might be quite tiring. So when we connect into that, of course, we have more passion. Now, here's the interesting thing, is the way we represent negative things is different to the way we represent positive things. So let's say we're trying to do our accounts, okay? When we internalize, if you question how you picture that, you might picture it as being kind of dark and 
fuzzy and uh, not very colourful, black and white. It might be a very small picture in your mind's eye and the sound might be dulled out. Okay? Versus uh, going for a surf where the conditions are beautiful, it's crisp and clean and colourful and, and I've got all these positive feelings. Uh, and perhaps it's over here as well. Not always the case dull, I don't, you know, it could be defocused over here. Everyone's different. Some people might have defocused and black and white for exciting things that they're doing. You have to decide personally how you represent the picture of something that you don't like doing and how you represent the picture of something you do like doing. Now the trick is to, once you've got those, uh, an idea of the differences of how you represent something you do like doing, take those way you represent it and kind of transform it through the picture of something you're doing. So you see yourself doing your accounts, but instead make it colourful, make it big, make it crisp, and put it over here in the position where you know you is your sort of motivational strategy of going forward. And you'll find it's psychology, try it out, you'll see it works, it'll get you much more motivated and get those same feelings of wanting to do whatever it is that you've been procrastinating on. So, pretty easy, just try it out. That's number two. Now number three is a little bit more technical, um, and so if those two work for you, all well and good. The third one is a bit more of a process. What I'm going to do in the third one is actually change the strategy around how you do your uh, things that you procrastinate on in the first place. And that is a chain of emotional states. So here's the thing. We have in our head strategies for everything we do, from cooking to even taking a shower or getting out of bed to running a company, and we have a strategy for procrastinating, and we also have a strategy of uh, finally getting those things done. And a strategy that doesn't work very well, it does work, but not very well, is you beat yourself up for not getting things done. That puts in you in a negative mood lethargic, you don't want to do it. So you don't do it. And then you beat yourself up more. And as the deadline gets closer, those beatings get harder and harder and harder until the pain of not doing the thing you've been procrastinating on is greater than the pain of doing it. Can you see how it works, but it sure isn't the best strategy, all right? So a better strategy is to change that strategy into something else. Now, what we want to do is create a chain of emotional uh, steps. And going from procrastination to feeling excited, if these two didn't work, you might need some intervening steps. So what we're going to do is come up with a couple of emotional states that are sort of in the middle of procrastination and motivation. Now, some examples might be that the first one is determination. So a feeling of really being determined and think back to a time when you felt determined that you wouldn't let uh, something get the better of you and feel what that state is. And then there might be a feeling of uh, compulsion of doing a good deed, for example, of helping someone maybe. And then that compulsion has a different emotional state to it, but it's kind of on the way towards motivation, a feeling of a good deed. And then you might have uh, connect into it also the feeling of the positive feeling, and we're going towards a positive feeling of having done the thing that you're procrastinating on, or at least having started the very job that you've been procrastinating on. And then what we can do is we can actually chain these together like you're walking through these emotional states. And I suggest you do this, not sitting down, you might be sitting down listening to this. So get up and actually imagine little circles on the floor 
I'm not going to be able to take big strides because I'll go outside the camera lens. But if you imagine taking one pace from procrastination into determination, into the joy of helping someone else, into the positive feelings of um, having done the chore that you want, that actually can create an alternate strategy, an alternate chain of emotional events in your mind that can get you from going from procrastination to motivation. So there's one, two, three quick ways to try motivation. Now I'll shortly have a hypnosis audio out that you can play through your headsets at night time to help install some of these processes. And if you're interested in getting that hypnosis um, audio, then please just contact me and uh, I'll send you the details of how to get that. I hope that was enjoyable and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.